right now this whole pandemic pharmacy is where it's at okay let me tell you pharmacy needs the help pharmacy is looking for the help pharmacy is offering the opportunities and if by any chance you can't find an opportunity in one store why give up there y'all know my channel is Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to get hired as a pharmacy tech. So this is going to be the knowledge that I have with Publix. If you don't know me, I've been working there for almost four years now. And I just got certified not so long ago as a pharmacy technician. So I want to share with you guys my experience. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys what to expect as a pharmacy tech because I know one of the biggest things I hear is, oh, I want to be a pharmacy tech. I know there's more room for improvement. I know you get better pay, stuff like that. But people don't really know what the job entails. So I'm going to break it down for you guys, not to scare you or anything, but just to better prepare yourself for when you, you know, eventually get the job because you will with the tips and knowledge I'm about to share with y'all. And if you haven't seen any of my prior videos about Publix, I suggest you guys go watch them because my number one tip is always to just get your foot in the door. So whether that be you becoming a bagger, you becoming a cashier, customer service associate, whichever position it is that Publix offers you, take that position and then it's going to be so much easier to move your way up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with what to expect as a pharmacy tech because this is definitely going to impact whether you really do wanna apply or not. Um, it is a position that I would say that is very, very serious obviously you're dealing with the mental health of other people and it can often affect yours so it's very important for you to understand what the position entails just so that you know you know what you're getting yourself into duh so let's go ahead and get started so as many of you know or if you're not familiar i used to be a customer service associate and prior to that i did do cashiering and i did do the bagger position and i've worked my way in different departments so i would say that that's where a lot of my knowledge is based from and unlike customer service um, pharmacy is very very different I know I have a lot of viewers that are mainly in the customer service department and tailing cashiers baggers and um, customer service associates so I feel like that's why a lot of my videos cater to those positions but I would definitely love to open up more about pharmacy and how to do certain things in the pharmacy if that is of interest of, to any of you guys so if any of y'all have any questions um, anything that I can possibly help you guys in because I know it's a different ball game and it is pretty hard just go ahead and comment down below let me know um, I just got out of my shift um, I worked all day sundays the pharmacy is open 11 a.m to 6 p.m so i worked that shift today um it is getting darker now though it's like where i live so that's why it's kind of like dark already even though it's not even that late it's like seven right now but anyways so the number one thing y'all are to expect in pharmacy and this is not to categorize everyone in the same category but it is for the main part because when people go to customer service to complain about something usually they're complaining about their cupcakes or their oreos being squished or their chicken wasn't to the right temperature or just little things like that when you work in the pharmacy people are complaining about controlled substances okay if you don't know what a controlled substance is it's basically a c2 um that's basically what they call it in short terms and these are medications that people can get addicted to so you have to be very very careful when you dispense them now a lot of times these patients rely on these medications and they want to pick them up a day or two early because like they get addicted to taking these meds and when they come to the pharmacy and we tell them that we physically cannot dispense it because this is how overdosing and stuff like that happens they can get very very upset and they're under the influence and stuff like that so you deal with patients who are a lot more upset over something that is physically controlling their body versus a, a cupcake you know what i'm saying so be prepared for that you're not over here to be playing you know with your fingers you're not over here to be playing this thing as a game i'm have a goofy personality and i say this in a lot of my videos but when it's time for work it's time for work and you can't be goofy and there's medications that need to be filled there's prescriptions that need to be filed and that's not trying to paint like oh my gosh pharmacy is ridiculously hard stuff like that but like i said you're just physically you know like dealing with someone's health and vaccines and you know giving um patients needles and stuff like that so it is very um just different i would say so that's 
something to always have in perspective because people i think they don't really know what goes on in the department and that's normal because for someone who doesn't work in the department you're just looking at it from the outside and from the outside it might look like we're just standing in front of the computers or it might look like we're just getting medication off the you know um pill stations and stuff like that but it's not that like you're in there and whatever prescription the doctor sends that's what we fill so let me break it down to you guys if you go to the doctor's office you go to the doctor and you're like, oh, I haven't been feeling good. Um, I have a lot of pain. I need, you know, um, some medication for this. The doctor's going to prescribe you whatever medication he he suggests. He suggests, let's say, ibuprofen, right? So he, he's going to just write it down on a little piece of paper and you bring that paper to us. Now, we have to solve this problem so that you can get your physical pill. The doctor just tells you, I suggest for you to drink this medication which number one just because that's the the medication the doctor prescribes does not mean that that's the medication you're always going to get you're going to get something similar of course because if you have pain we're not going to give you something for anxiety you know we're going to give you something for pain but it might be a different um generic brand or it might be like a different medication um that treats the same thing but you know we might not have the same one that the doctor recommended in stock and stuff like that so we it's up to us to figure out that little dilemma and then we gotta go to the go get the bottle obviously dispense it you know process it and distribute it to the patient and make sure like you don't have any allergies to whatever kind of ingredients the medication contains and stuff like that so we definitely deal with that one-on-one -on -one and unlike customer service and i feel like the reason i'm trying to compare those two is because for some reason a lot of the girls in my store right now or in the Publix i work at it's not really my store but in the Publix i work at a lot of the customer service associates me and them used to work together when i moved to pharmacy like no one really you know cared to move to pharmacy whatever like they were only looking for one spot so i you know went for the spot and got it and whatever but now a lot of these girls want to move to pharmacy and i see this in a lot of different publics as well it's always the customer service associates that want to move to pharmacy i mean we've gotten a few like ladies in the deli department who want to move to pharmacy and stuff like that but i feel like people who already work in these other departments their head is wrapped around those other departments and they're just like focusing to move up in there but for some reason customer service i don't know if it's just my store but people are looking to change department and they want to go into pharmacy i don't know if they heard because you know it's a better opportunity better money better <laughs> a lot of other stuff but you know i want to obviously share that knowledge and help you guys get into the pharmacy because that's personally how i did it too um now i did drop two videos with one of the girls who i personally gave a lot of advice to um or that's how i feel like i gave her a lot of advice on how to get into Publix, and she ended up getting accepted and she told me she was like oh i watched all your videos and thanks to you i got accepted da -da -da. and she actually called me because she was thinking of rejecting the position and she got hired straight into the company into the pharmacy so I have both of those experiences, I guess, up on my channel. Her experience was different than mine. I started working in the company. I worked several positions before getting into pharmacy. And as soon as I heard that there was like an opening or something like that, or not really an opening, I just went and showed interest. I was just like, hey, look, I don't know if you guys are looking for any pharmacy techs, but I would love to um, fulfill that position. Is there anything I can do? And, da -da -da -da. and I'll share my experience in a different video. But that's basically what happened. I just told him I was interested and he was like, oh, I would like the help. And they started training me. They give you kind of like three months to see how you really do, you know. So um, they started training me and this other boy and the other boy could not keep up. And after three months, he was out the pharmacy. But um, I stayed and I feel like I'm getting better as I, you know, keep going to work and stuff like that and unlike my experience my friend's experience who's um another pharmacy tech in a different Publix she got hired straight into the company into the pharmacy so she doesn't know how to do any other position but pharmacy and she was thinking of like rejecting that position and I had to like talk her into it and now she like loves it and she shared her story and her experience up on my channel so if y'all go to the Publix playlist y'all will see it um I, I don't think I did a separate playlist for it, but maybe I did. I'll try to link it up here or if not at the end of this video and y'all will see her experience and what she personally thinks because I like to get different people's opinion up here on my channel because I don't want y'all to just think it's just me. And by the way, nothing I say on my channel is um, sponsored. Um, you know, I was told to say it. Publix, you know, pays me. N none of that. You know, these are just my personal thoughts and opinions, how I really did it and what I, I really want to see y'all win. So that's why I, I do these videos. So with that being said, said just remember that pharmacy is something that you cannot be playing with pharmacy isn't the department where you're gonna sit there and be talking a lot um you really just have to be sitting there and you're 
dispensing a lot of drugs that's really what it is okay so i think it's definitely more serious um less drama less problematic i come from a po problematic store i would say because it's small and it has a lot of drama so i love being like in a reserved department and just being focused on my work it makes me feel more professional um i feel like like i said i'm excelling more in this department than i was in customer service and it's going to bring me better opportunities i just switched my major to pharmacy and I never thought I would have done that. So I definitely think it's it boosts your self-esteem. It makes you feel like, you know, what you're doing matters. I mean, it matters in any department. I don't want you guys to feel less if you work in any other department. I did three years in customer service, you know? But um, if you are looking to do the change, I would say it's worth it. And like I said, um, if you end up not liking it, you can always obviously back down. But I wouldn't suggest you not knowing if you want to do pharmacy and then just trying it because that's really going to set the pharmacy back like make sure you know what you want if you're going to go apply into the pharmacy now um if you want to register your interest for pharmacy the first thing you have to do i get this question all the time it's not a separate application okay to apply to Publix, it's the same application, whether it's for pharmacy, for the produce department, for the deli department, it's the same application, Publix.com, and you apply there, and you can put that you wanna work pharmacy, you can put that you wanna work produce department, you can put that you wanna work, whatever department it is that you wanna work, but it's the same application, okay? If you're already in the company, okay, you don't have to fill out a specific paper, you don't have to do anything. Matter of fact, people wanna go to the store manager and ask them about pharmacy. Pharmacy has its own manager. He's the pharmacy manager slash pharmacist. That's the person you need to talk to. What is the store manager gonna do? The store manager can't even legitimately go into the pharmacy because you have to have a certification or you have to be um, like authorized to enter the pharmacy. A ph the pharmacy is a completely different ball game, okay? It's literally just a pharmacy inside of Publix, but it's its own thing. It's its own little island, own district manager, own, own district, um, not district, own regional manager, it has its own everything okay so and the store manager can't really opinionate and not to knock them down or anything but the store manager has no idea what it is that these pharmacists or pharmacy managers do so what say does he really have so if you go and register your interest with a store manager like hey i really want to work fat i mean hey i really want to work in the pharmacy and stuff like that how does he know what it is that the pharmacist is looking for? He doesn't. Because what the pharmacist is looking for in a pharmacy tech isn't the same thing that the store manager is looking in a bagger or a cashier or in a customer service associate, okay? The store manager is probably looking for someone who is super, super, super duper nice to be a customer service associate. The pharmacist isn't looking for that. The pharmacist is looking for someone who can work fast and can memorize these drugs and yes provide customer service while you're doing it but that's not his main focus okay that's what customer service associates are for so you get what i'm saying um make sure if you want to you know tell someone that you're interested in working in the pharmacy that you do that with the pharmacy manager or the or the pharmacist okay and like i said i always suggest that you go to the head boss so i know sometimes people like to say it to the assistant and stuff like that no you have to say it to the manager the pharmacy the pharmacy manager the pharmacist not assistant okay you can tell the assistant you can mention it but go straight to the big guy and that's how i did it too so i always share with you guys how i did my own stuff this isn't stuff that i just pull out and oh I t i'm gonna tell you guys how to do this even though i did something else no, no no this is how i did it and i got accepted super super quick um all my experiences and all my comments have always been positive on people getting the job and stuff like that so please feel free to share your experience and um let me know how it goes once you obviously speak to the manager you want to follow up and i feel like this is how you would handle any position in general so if you weren't even just looking to get into pharmacy if you were between pharmacy and bakery or pharmacy and deli or deli and produce whatever it is or just any job you you know you always got to follow up stay on top of it like hey you know have you heard anything um you know because usually the pharmacy manager has to ask his manager which would be like the district manager if he can accept another pharmacy tech or stuff like that so you always want to stay on top of it like hey um do you think we're going to be able to have an interview soon hey how's it looking can i come help anytime soon you know really really stay on top of your stuff um ask him is there anything i can do to speed up the process um if you have any type of prior knowledge you can go ahead and say that 
because in the pharmacy it does matter i know in all my videos i'm like oh if you have you know a master's degree or if you have this it doesn't matter in Publix because Publix is a company that promotes within and even though in pharmacy it's the same thing it's a company that promotes within until a certain extent though in pharmacy you can only become a pharmacy tech as a company who promotes within after that you do have to have school and you do have to have stuff like that so i'm not a fan that like oh you need school for business and stuff like that i don't think it's true but i think if you're doing something in the medical field you definitely need school and that's why i switched over to that because i was studying business in school wasting my time so um i switched over to pharmacy because they were they're not going to promote you from within to become a pharmacist that's something that you need your schooling for okay um so with that being said, if you have any type of like prior um, schooling that has to do in the medical field or prior experience in a medical office or anything, you want to go ahead and let the pharmacy manager know because, you know, it's not the same thing as a store manager. So don't get it confused. If you're going to the store manager asking for a promotion or asking for a position in customer service or in the deli department or something like that, you don't need to be. You know it's always good to say any type of qualifications you have but it's not going to make a huge difference because you could become a store manager without having a degree in school but in pharmacy it's different so if you have some type of um you know some type of prior knowledge or something go ahead and say that and i personally um that's what i did i told him i'm like look i don't you know know all these drugs and stuff like that but i used to work in a medical office just for a few months and I don't know if that really helped much because the medical office and a pharmacy is completely different, but it just shows that it's something, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all got anything to work with, just say it. The pharmacist is going to know. And besides, even if you did work in a whole other pharmacy, it doesn't really, I wouldn't say that it doesn't really matter. Obviously it, it is going to matter, but at the end of the day, the pharmacy manager that you're working for is going to train you to work the way he wants you to work. Because even though Publix is the same company, every pharmacy manager is different. And every pharmacy that you go to, regardless if it's in Publix, each manager is going to want you to work. I mean, similar, but they're gonna have their own like little, I would say, um, perks not perks but what's that word they're gonna have their little um, own little pet peeves that you're gonna want to learn and follow so i mean you're still gonna be trained to work the way they want to work they want you to work so i mean i wouldn't stress that too much and if by any chance the pharmacy in your specific store is not hiring go to a different Publix and don't give up and matter of fact um i've said this before if you're not even getting a lot of hours in Publix, go to a different i don't want to say i don't want to make it sound so bad like go to a different company but go to like walgreens or cvs or something and apply to work in the pharmacy there and if they do pick you by any chance you can work one day a week let's say at cvs and still work one day a week at Publix, and then eventually you know if you don't like cvs whatever because I always tell people don't quit Publix, you know, I just tell them to lower their days or whatever. But um, if you don't like CVS, you can eventually quit and then go back to the pharmacy and be like, I have experience in the pharmacy. And they're most likely going to take you because those type of things count when it comes to the pharmacy. So if you can't get your training at Publix, go get it elsewhere. Like, just don't give up because eventually you will get an opportunity okay so um if you need to go somewhere else for them to train you on how to be a pharmacy tech do it and then go to Publix and be like look i'm a certified pharmacy tech because whoever trains you whatever company trains you they're going to make you get a certification so once you're certified you know and you go to a different company if you go back to Publix and you're like look i know you didn't want to train me at first but now i'm certified can i get an opportunity they're most likely going to give it to you and if your home store doesn't do it you can go to different Publixes around you who eventually somebody will especially right now right now this whole pandemic pharmacy is where it's at okay let me tell you pharmacy needs the help pharmacy is looking for the help pharmacy is offering the opportunities and if by any chance you can't find an opportunity in one store why give up there y'all know my channel is all about keep going motivating y'all pushing y'all being persistent so don't stop right there go to a different one go to a different pharmacy keep going to become the pharmacy tech that you want to become okay because pharmacy and medicine is something really good for y'all to study and like i said you're not gonna know until you give it a try i wanted to be a pharmacy tech but i didn't think i was gonna like pharmacy like that to become a pharmacist or pharmacy manager and look at me now like a whole different ball game and i promise y'all like if y'all knew me in person I don't think y'all would probably have thought, I mean, no one thought that I was going to choose that, you know, road, but hey, I really like it. I like what I do. I'm good at what I do. And that's that. So I would definitely say, you know, keep pushing y'all. And with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave down a comment below if you want to see more videos like this. I would, I would love to share my knowledge with you guys about 
pharmacy if that's something that interests y'all um like i said i wasn't sure how many people who are actually interested in working in pharmacy um are subscribers here on my channel so i didn't open too much about that department but if you guys would like to see that then just make sure you let me know because i'm open to sharing um other than that i'll see you guys in my next videos thanks so much for watching supporting and showing love bye